So you guys seen the video of me with the white wire hair, short hair mix, where he was really scared, really timid. She came back Sunday with another dog. And the other, it was the litter mate to that dog. And I told you she had litter mate syndrome. I told her, I said, well, give me that dog for seven days. After seven days, I want to see the other dog. So that's exactly what she did. Seven days there, she comes back with another dog. Now this guy's full wire hair. When he got out of the truck, the son was holding on to him. And this dog wanted to rip my face off. And I took one look at that dog and I looked at the owners and I said, that dog right there is not a safe dog. I said, that dog is going to hurt someone. I told him to tie the dog up because I couldn't touch him. Tie the dog out in the yard, go back to the truck. Her son walks over, he ties the dog up, he walks back to the truck. And this dog's attitude completely changed. And you say, why is that? Why do you see that in these dogs? How can you take a dog that's so vicious? You're the dog whisperer, right? And you turn this dog into something else. No. This dog was scared out of his mind. Still is scared out of his mind. And he's feeding off that owner being right there. And his owner is his confidence. His owner is his security blanket. His owner is everything to him. That's all he knows. That's all he wants to know. So he's going to protect it. Fight against anything that tries to go near it. And kill anything that tries to get in the way of it. This guy was awful. If I would have tried to have shook his owner's hand, he would have ripped my hand off. As soon as they drove down the driveway and left, I walked over to the end of the lead, picked up off the thing and started walking the dog around. He was a completely different dog. Now, he's still scared, right? He's still unsure of himself because now he's got to find himself. I took the owner away. I took the security blanket away. I took all of his confidence and smushed it. So now I'm left with a dog that every single noise that happens, he jumps. Every single thing that moves, he jumps. And he's just scared because his security blanket, his confidence has been taken away. But this is what I see so often in these wire hairs is exactly that. These dogs attach to one person. And most dogs will do that, but wire hairs in general will attach so hard to one person. and. I'm not going to say he wasn't socialized. I think they have done fairly good at socializing. They've had people over their house ever since they were puppies all the time. And it's just not until recently that this guy hasn't put up with it. But it's progressively gotten worse. And I always hear that, that same trend. The trend is someone messages me and says, you know, at, at five months old, he was fine. At six months old, we started having issues. Eight months old, he nipped at a couple people. Now he's a year and a half old. He wants to rip everybody's face off. This has happened time and time and time again. And I think it has a lot to do with these dogs not being confident in their own skin. And that's what this guy is. He'll still bite me. He'll still lash out at me. It took me 10 minutes to get him out of his kennel. He stood by his kennel door. looked like he wanted to rip my face off still. But now that we're out, now he's better. You wagging your tail yet? You're not really wagging your tail yet. But he's a lot better. So... I'm going to have him for seven days now, and this owner is going to have to make a decision because I don't think she can keep both dogs. And we've already talked about that. One dog has to go because this dog and the other dog keep getting into fights. Somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to get bitten by this dog, and it's not going to be a little bite. It's going to be a severe bite. This dog will attack someone, guarantee you. And the only way he's going to do that, the only reason why he's going to do that is because that owner, her son, is going to be standing right there and this dog's going to be protecting her son. And he needs, to learn, he needs to learn that that's not his job. I wish that I could, yeah, you, you want your dog to protect you, right? But that's a different level. Someone coming to attack you with a gun and, and rob you at gunpoint is different than your neighbor coming up to say hi. The dog's got to be able to know the difference. Right? You say, oh, dogs aren't that smart. This dog knows that difference. He needs to learn that neighbors aren't a problem. Mailman's not a problem. He needs to learn that people are okay. People are good. He doesn't know that. Scared to death of everything. Buck, come here. So we got a 90 pound dog that can lash out at any minute and do some major damage. That's scared of everything. Why am I face to face with them? I don't know. Because I want to give them a chance. 
I really do. I think he's got a chance. He smells all the pheasants on me from this morning's hunt. You smell those, don't you? It's either that or the pizza. I feel like both of these dogs have a chance. I feel like the white one river has a little bit better chance of, of being a good family dog. This guy's got a really good chance of getting trained to hunt and go to a home with someone that can handle him and can hunt him. But he needs a lot of work yet. So this is what we're dealing with this week. We got two new dogs. We got this guy we got to do a lot of work with. And we got a lot of dogs that need to get on birds. So I'm going to get back to work. But I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on the story because I think, you know, you saw the video of the white dog and this is the same owner. Same people. We swapped dogs for a week. And by the end of this week, we've got to make a decision as their family and me. Second chance bird dog, make a decision. Can I even rehome a dog like this? That's the decision I have to make. But she's going to watch this video and she's going to be amazed because this is not the dog she dropped off. The dog she dropped off's tail was straight up in the air. He was postured up. He was growling. He was ready to rip someone's face off. This dog right here is scared half to death. So we've got, we've got our work cut out for us. So we're going to get to work. We're going to let you guys go. And we will see you soon. Thanks.